ESP Home Bluetooth Proxies is a brand new way to add Bluetooth support to your home assistant or to expand the Bluetooth coverage in your smart home. In essence, an ESP32 based board is used to communicate with your Wi-Fi, your home assistant and your Bluetooth devices. It is something like a good man in the middle that orchestrates the Bluetooth communication and send it to your home assistant over Wi-Fi. As you might guess, in this video I will show you how I managed to implement this from start to the very end, step by step. Meanwhile, if you need some further assistance, I have a smart home glossary that I put together for you. Download it absolutely for free from my website automatelike.pro slash glossary and get some useful and simple explanations of the terms and abbreviations that are used in the smart home world in general. Now, without further ado, let's see in which cases the ESP Home Bluetooth proxy will be a good fit for you. The first use case will be if your device where Home Assistant is installed doesn't have a Bluetooth support. That is the case with most of the desktop computers or servers as well as with the Home Assistant Yellow. So, instead of buying an additional Bluetooth USB dongle that may turn out to be incompatible or problematic, you better choose the ESP Home Bluetooth proxy method that I'm about to show you in a minute. Second use case when the ESP Home Bluetooth proxy will be a good fit for you will be if you want to expand your Bluetooth coverage. As example, imagine that you have a good Bluetooth coverage in two rooms of yours, but the device in a third room gets disconnected all the time. In such a case, ESP Home Bluetooth proxy will be your savior. You just have to place the ESP Home Bluetooth proxy next to that third room or inside it and you will automatically will have a Bluetooth coverage. If you fell in one of the above categories or you just want to try this out, you need just three things to make your own ESP Home Bluetooth proxy. The first one is working Home Assistant. This is essential as the whole idea here is to add all of your Bluetooth devices in probably the best smart home hub available at the moment, aka Home Assistant. And if you don't have Home Assistant yet, why are you still waiting? Go to my Home Assistant webinar available at automatelike.pro slash webinar and see what are the four official and supported methods to install Home Assistant, as well as one super simple way to get started with Home Assistant in under 5 minutes. The webinar is completely free and it will take you only around 45 minutes of your time. After that, you will know everything to make an informed decision how to proceed next and what will be the best for you. Next thing that is needed is an ESP32 board. At the moment, Four boards are supported, a generic ESP32 board that is for example a D1 Mini ESP32 or similar and 5 stack Atom Light, Olimax ESP32 ISO that can be powered over Ethernet and wireless stack WT32 ETH01. I will use a D1 Mini ESP32 that cost around 7 US dollars in AliExpress website but I'll leave some affiliate links in the video description of the supported boards in both AliExpress and Amazon. That is if you want to see the current prices of the boards and eventually to buy one if you decide. Next and final thing that is needed is Chrome or Edge browsers that is because the installation process is supported only with these browsers. You also need a USB cable so you can connect the ESP32 baseboard to your computer. I hope that everything is clear for now and it is time to start the actual installation of the ESP Home Bluetooth proxy on an ESP32 board. 
The whole installation is very, very easy and I just have to open this URL. And I'll open this URL in Chrome browser or Edge browser because as I said in the beginning, these are the only compatible browsers at the moment. Then I'll connect my D1 Mini ESP32 to my computer. I'll select this generic ESP32 option because my device fails into this category and I'll click connect. If you don't see anything here in this window, make sure that your USB cable is a data cable and not only charging cable. The other possible reason to not see anything here is that you don't have any drivers. If that's the case, just click cancel and this dialog will pop up. I think I installed these drivers for my Mac as well as these and that's why I have two devices right here. I'll select this one and then I'll click connect. Then I'll just have to click install USB 32 generic. All data on the device will be erased. I'm okay with that. Do not close these windows until the flashing process is finished. Check this out. Keep this page visible to prevent slowdowns. Installation is complete and just like that, my ESP Home Bluetooth proxy is ready to be used. I'll click next. I'll select my Wi-Fi name here and I'll type my password. I'll choose this one and I'll click connect. Time to add the ESP Home Bluetooth proxy in my Home Assistant which again is very very easy. The device is now connected to my Wi-Fi network and I can add it to my Home Assistant. I can use this My Home Assistant link or I can open my Home Assistant. I'll press the C button and I'll type integrations. I'll select navigate integrations. And here it is, ESP32 Bluetooth proxy is discovered. It is auto discovered by Home Assistant and I just have to click configure. So using this my Home Assistant link is one of the option. The other one is manually going to your Home Assistant and click on the configure button. Do you want to add the ESP Home node to Home Assistant? Yes, I do. I can select an area here, but I'll not do that and I'll just click finish. This is my new device. One device, one entity. This is the device firmware. I have some diagnostic sensors right here, but if I return back to my integrations page, I will see these Bluetooth devices that I can configure. Also, my Bluetooth range is now extended and I can place my device anywhere I wish, anywhere I have a Wi-Fi and I will have Bluetooth coverage around this device, right in my Home Assistant, which is perfect. The last and final step is to place your ESP Home Bluetooth proxy somewhere in the middle between your router and your Bluetooth devices and to power it up. Your ESP Home Bluetooth proxy, that is the ESP32 device, will try to connect to your Wi-Fi, so you need to have a Wi-Fi coverage on the spot that you want to place it. After that, the ESP32 board will start scanning for Bluetooth devices and the recognized and supported ones will start appearing in your Home Assistant as new integrations where you just have to configure them. Then you can start using them in Home Assistant automations and scripts. One additional step that is entirely optional and it is up to you will be to print a 3D case for your new ESP Home Bluetooth proxy. You can search for a lot of 3D models in a site such as Thingverse.com. I like that one for example for the D1 Mini ESP32 board and I'll put a link in the video description if you want to print it as well. Can you please tell me are you going to try this and for what are you going to use the ESP Home Bluetooth proxy? Share your answers in the comments and I promise to respond you back. See you next Wednesday. Meanwhile, check my recommended video for you. I'm Kiryu and I'm done speaking.